Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again, D Fishman 76 Are you like me and you just got so much B equipment you don't know what to do with and you've got to do something with it? Stick around, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with my beekeeping equipment. My building is in such disarray, it looks like a tornado went through it and just threw crap everywhere. So what we're doing today is we're getting rid of some B equipment. I'll show you what we're doing with it. All right, so as you can see, I've got a truckload of B equipment. The problem, if you haven't figured out with beekeeping is, either you've got way too much equipment or you don't have enough and you're doing everything you can to put bees in whatever you got. So today we're moving all this equipment that I've got, which I've got some more I've got to, to do something with. But what we're doing is we're actually moving it into this. Now I don't know if some of y'all know what this is or not, but this is an old bulk barn, one of the modular type ones. And what we've done with this is we've actually turned it into like a storage building slash workshop. So uh, come on in, I'll give you a little tour of it. So I don't know if you've ever seen latches like this, but it's kind of like what they got on commercial 18 wheelers or trucks or whatever. But uh, the latch flips over like that and the doors open on it. As you can see, we've got lights. We've got beekeeping keep it, stuff stored in here. I'd say 90% of this stuff is mine. And then this right here is actually my brother's stuff that he brought over here the other day. He's in the process of selling his house. So uh, he needed somewhere to keep his equipment stuff. So he brought it over here. And then there's uh, the old Jeep over here. It's been sitting in here for a while. The engine's blowed up on it. So uh, we, uh, we're probably gonna donate that to the NRA or somebody like that. They, uh, they'll they come pick it up and take it off and you get a text right off for it. But uh, we're gonna move all this equipment in here. But uh, see these little slats on the side of this barn? There used to be, there used to be a wall right here and then there was this side and then this side and then you put the back in and slid back and there was burners back here in the back. It's been removed and been replaced by this uh, sliding door but uh it's got plugs in the wall and all that other stuff plus uh we use it for storage for other stuff too which i'm gonna probably try to clean some of this stuff up it might actually turn this into a uh something for processing honey or stuff like that uh all i gotta do is get in here and sweep it up and clean it up and get all the spider webs and stuff out of it and it'll probably make a halfway decent if nothing else uh a place to do some carpentry work and all that other good stuff. We'll just have to secure it better for uh, before we go putting in any stuff that somebody might want to steal. But uh, let's get this equipment moved and put in here so we can uh, get some more stuff done today. Like I said, I'm trying to clean my building out. Uh, we got chicks coming in this week and I'm trying to get my brooder set up. They're supposed to be shipped out tomorrow, which is the 15th. So I got to get everything set up and ready for it. So, uh, Let's get the truck unloaded. While I'm putting these boxes in, I might as well fill them up with some frames. I had a friend of mine that moved to Maine, and before he left, he gave me some equipment. I'm trying to put it in boxes 
so I can use it this year. I'm going to take all his bee equipment up there with him because I'm not sure how long he's going to stay. He actually lived in Fayetteville and with all the crime going on and all the protests and stuff, him and his family decided it'd be a good idea to pack up and uh, move somewhere a little bit uh, less violent than Fayetteville. What I'm doing, since I'm putting these boxes in here, I might as well put, fill them up with frames. That way, I can serve on space just a little bit. That way I know which ones. out here in one spot. And see now we know we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven honey supers right here that are ready to roll as far as frames go. If any of y'all got any of these laying around anywhere, there will be buses. I got three of them. I'm trying to figure out a use for them. I'm pretty sure I'll use them at some point in time. I don't want to throw them away, but at the same time, I kind of need to figure out what I'm going to do with them. So uh, they're not just taking up a whole bunch of space for nothing. bunch of eight frame stuff that I bought from a lady whose husband had died. But the bad thing about it is I don't have a whole lot of eight frame stuff to use. I got a lot of as far as bottom boards and all that other stuff. And a lot of this foundation, if you store foundation in your frames where it gets hot, it will warp up and it will go to crap. So I got a lot of money over here and warped up frames or warped up foundations that can't really be used for anything. probably good for if you want to make up a swarm trap or something like that you'll probably use it for it but then you have a jack comb to go in your hive when you do move them in that's if you move them in using the same stuff which I might try doing the swarm trap stuff this year since I'll have a job near a place that's, I get a lot of swarm calls from. Right? I might end up doing that. See, here's some more to eight frame stuff. It's pretty much little nuke boxes like that. Little five frame stuff. The only bad thing about this is a lot of people when they buy uh, nukes, they want them in the uh, regular size frames. These are all mediums. The advantage to the mediums is they're lighter. The disadvantage to the uh, mediums is a lot of people just use those for honey supers and they don't have as much room and it don't take them, but you know, it takes them less time to uh, build this up and get overcrowded and swarm. box 
right here, somebody give me. Uh, full of frames that I got to put together. Now those are actually smaller than a medium. I'm not sure what that size is called, but I'll use them for something. But uh, like I said, these this box was given to me. The guy that he knew he got out of the bee business and he had them laying around and wanted them gone. My buddy I was telling you about that moved to Maine, he gave me a complete five frame nuke that had never been used with the telescopic top, the inner cover, and the frames, and the uh, screened in bottom board, which is out here. When you get into beekeeping, you got two options when it comes to bottom boards. You got the screen bottom boards. Making sure we're recording. You got screen bottom boards like this right here and it's kind of self-explanatory. It's got a screen on the bottom. But see with these, there's a core plastic piece on the bottom that you can pull out. If I can get my hands on it. Get it out. And see it pulls out. So you've got a full screen bottom board. This has actually got two separate screens in it. That is really nice. From Brushy Mountain. I think they went bankrupt this day. And then on this, it's got uh, this little grid. When you treat for mites, it helps you with uh, counting your mounts, your mites, and uh, trying to figure out what your mite load is on your stuff. But I mean, that's a, that's a pretty nice five frame nuke. You're looking at probably complete setup, about 100, 150 bucks. So that was awfully nice of him to give me this stuff. I've got a few more things to get out of the truck and then we'll be through moving in over here. This is something else I want to show you. Uh, when I bought all that eight frame stuff from my lady, uh, she had this in the thing. Y'all may or may not have seen these. This is like a little five frame nuke, but it's also made for uh, carrying your stuff, say if you wanted to carry, fix this box up where you can carry this stuff out into your uh, bee hive or whatever, or well, bee yard. You can put a hive tool or anything like that in here. You can put a uh, your long shanked ladder in the side. You could also put uh, uh, your hive tools down on this side. And I want to say that there is for maybe holding your frame holders or any other kind of tools that you want to stick down in here. And then the inside of it is uh, like a five frame nuke where you could put uh, like regular size frames in it. This is a frame that I made up for grafting queen cells and stuff. And then you can also use it for uh, carrying queen cells and stuff back and forth from your yard. But uh, it's a completely sealed off box. There's no way for the bees to get in or out. If you do decide to put these in here, the good thing about this is uh, it's also vented in the front so you can put bees in it too. And then there's a storage thing in the back for sliding in hive tools or whatever else you want to. It's a pretty cool little setup. Uh, I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe to probably have parts apart or something. It's some kind of plastic something. But, uh, that's a cool little thing you can buy. Most of your beekeeping supply places sell those. I would say most of your beekeeping supply places sell those. They're pretty cool little things. If you uh, actually take the time to use them, this is something I haven't done. Lock my building, close my building back up. Uh, we've got all of our beekeeping stuff that we're gonna move for today. Here's the trailer again. I was thinking about working on it today because it's nasty and rainy. And while I'm over here, I might work on it some. Of course, that's gonna be in a whole nother video. So if y'all want to see that one, stick around. We're gonna cut the top off of this and uh, try to get started on it. It's supposed to rain for the next seven days, five to seven days. And uh, I'm under this big old pretty shelter over here. And I can get out of the, the rain at least, at least a, a little bit of the rain, unless the wind's blowing from the south or from, no, from the east or from the west. Uh, I can stay out of the wind and the rain, but 
I'm gonna take my grinder and get that top plate off because I can't use it. But like I said, that's for a whole nother video. Hope y'all doing good. Hope y'all enjoyed the video today. Just showing you some of the stuff that you can do in the winter time. Uh, I'm gonna work on this trailer a little bit and then go back over there and, and keep on working on my building. Appreciate y'all. We love y'all. And as always, we'll see y'all in the next one.